Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial about the KUKA Sunrise Toolbox controlling KUKA from MATLAB So, in the last tutorial we were looking at the folders in the toolbox repo and uh, lastly I spoke about the MATLAB client folder Right now, I'm going to be speaking about the other folders. So here you have the other MATLAB functionalities folder. We open this folder and we can find other two subfolders. One is the hand guiding function and the other is the double hit detection. Each one of those folders contains script files, functions and examples. Uh, to to use different functionalities with the KUKAIWA. For example, the hand guiding function folder contains secrets that allows you to remotely enable and disable the hand guiding functionality. So what's hand guiding? Hand guiding uh, is used to, to move the robot around just by applying force at the defector or at the structure of the robot. So it's a much easier way to position the robot than by using the teach pendant. Uh, normally, KUKAIWA comes with a hand guiding functionality. This hand guiding functionality uh, is provided at the, the joint level. Uh, so, uh, you can enable and start this functionality remotely from MATLAB using the scripts in this folder. Also, for example, KUKA0 hand guiding example. In this example, uh, it's shown how to enable and disable this functionality. Now, during our work here in the robotics lab, we noticed that the original or the off-the-shelf hand guiding functionality provided by KUKA at the joint level of the robot is not enough for uh, our requirements, and especially for precise positioning at the, of the end factor. So, we ca came up with a solution. If you need a precision at the end factor level, then it is better to control the robot at the end factor according to the force applied by the user at the end factor. So we created a new function, and an example is given in KUKA0 precise hand guiding example. In this example, we in a, you, the user uh, know, uh, learns how to enable and disable the precise hand guiding functionality uh, that we created here in the lab. So basically, uh, the user can uh, move the end effector around in the Cartesian space uh, using uh, this, those functionalities, and this uh, off offers better precision when you need to position uh, the end factor precisely in Cartesian space. Now the other folder that I'm going to speak about is the double head detection and here you can find functions and uh, an example scripts on how to detect double touch or double tap on the robot. So the example is given by double touch detection example here uh, and you have some other functions. I'm gonna be speaking about those functions later. So I'm gonna return back to the root of the KUKA Sunrise toolbox and right now I'm gonna be speaking about the other folders. So here we have other flavors. This is advanced topic I'm gonna be speaking about later. Uh, right now, we can't forget about it. It's not uh, not very important, but yeah, I'm going to be speaking about it later. 